good day and welcome back. So in the last video, we were talking about goal routine context. And what we basically said is a context is created to manage the execution of a goal routine. And of course, a goal routine is just a function. It's launched by a function using the goal keyword. And so here, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about the scope of a goal routine context. And the key takeaway is going to be here is that all functions are invoked in the context of the caller. Now, if this, you've never heard about caller and call E, this doesn't sound a little bit new to you, but it's kind of simple. So here's the idea. We know that how HMU um, launch, launch a Go routine, it's going to be to run a function, right? So that makes sense. And um, let me go back here. And so imagine now that we had this function main, and it calls some function a func. And then it launches two go routine. So now we know in our program we currently have three go routine. One that the runtime go runtime created to run main, and the two that we launch, right? And now each of our go routine also their functions, foo and who, are also gonna call this a func. So this a func is being called three times, once by our main and then one for each go routine. Doesn't matter what it's doing, what the other go routines are doing. All that I left out because that's not important. The important thing here to realize is that a function is being called three times. And so the one way you want to think of that is that instead of go routine one, which is running main, main call a function. And a function, when it's called by main, is within this context of go routine one. Why? Because a function's caller is main. And since main is in the context of go routine one, it therefore means that a function when it's called by main, it's within the context of its caller, hence it's in the context of GoRoutine 1. Same thing, when a func is called by foo, foo is the caller of a func, and because foo is inside the context of GoRoutine 2, a func at that time, that invocation of a func, is in the context of GoRoutine 2. Now, this might make your head hurt a little bit because you're saying, you'd be thinking like, hey, Verl, is a func in multiple contexts? Yes, because it's being called by multiple callers, and so each invocation of a func is separate and independent. Now, people who come from a system programming background of a language like C or C++, and Golang is a system programming language, by the way, but if you come from a background of C and C++, they usually call it, say that our a func must be re-entrant, because when it's being called in these different contexts, it could have you know, some serious problem if it's not re-entrance, meaning that oh, if there's some kind of side effect or dependency between each call of A having to depend on a previous call. Because you can imagine when A func is called in the context of go routine one, and then it's called again in the context of go routine two, if there's some dependency between different calls of A func on the previous call, then you can have a lot of issues. And we're not gonna spend too much time on that right now, but just kind of keep this in mind, that any function is called in the context of its caller, whether directly or indirectly. By that, what I mean is if you had another function, boo, that's being called by a func, well, again, boo is in the context of goroutine one, if when boo is called, it's called by a func, and when a func was called, it was called by main, which was in the goroutine of one. Does that make sense? So uh, I think once you kind of just take a minute to look at this and remember that oh, these are things that could happen in parallel. Doesn't mean it's happening in parallel. If you have one processor, it's going to be jumping between these things, but you don't need to worry about it in your head. You want to think, you know what? It could be parallel and there really shouldn't be any uh, issues with a boo or a funct depending on a previous call of themselves or whatever because of the fact that you don't know the order in which they're going to get called, right? And so this could become important later on when people, you might hear people say, well, oh, boo is called in the context of foo. And what it really is trying to say is boo is called in the context of goroutine 2 because the goroutine 2 was launched to manage the invocation of foo, right? Or they might say goo is called in the context of something else, right? It basically means the caller, and then you can go up the train of the different callers to find out what's the real context. All right, so I think that's pretty much all I want to say about context, and the reason why I want to bring this up is to just let you know that uh, when you launch a Go routine, 
it in turn may call a number of other functions, whether those might be library functions, you know, from other packages like FMT print line or something, or, you know, RAND or something else, or it might be one of your other functions. You want to be aware that regardless of what those go routine functions, those go routine call, those other functions are going to be within the context of the go routine that launched them. All right. So that's kind of important. And that's pretty much all I want to say about that. So we're not really going to look at any code other than the code we looked at just now, which we're not going to run because we know this code is kind of pointless anyway, because if you actually run this, it's going to exit immediately because after I launch those two go routine main end, so it cleans up. That's not the point of this exercise. The point of this was to just show you that if your go routine call in functions, and it doesn't mean that every go routine will call the same functions. That's not at the point. I showed you here both go routine calling the same function. The important thing is that if your go routine and um, whether they be main or any other one you launch call functions, those functions are invoked in the context of the function that call them. Hence, the, the caller of that function, right? And the function that's being called in this case, let's say a func, it's called the call e. Boo, when it's called by a func. Boo is the callee, a func is the caller. When you're looking at a func, it is the callee and the caller is main. So you can see that a function can both be a caller and a callee, right? So a func is the caller of boo, but the callee of main. All right. A little new words there for some of you maybe, but um, over time, it kind of makes sense when you hear it multiple times. Okay. So that's all. Um, see you in the very next video where we're going to start looking at go routine at concurrency patterns and um hope you're still enjoying it and really excited about this go routine stuff and how sweet and easy go makes it to launch these things all right take care